Hello, praise the Lord. Hello, Nia. Hello, everybody. This is a Pastor Jody Lasse. Today I'm in Portsmouth City Centre. Preaching the gospel to everybody. You don't try it. You don't try it. Don't. So today, I will be preaching the gospel for some time here. We are a nice place. City Centre. God bless you. Please share this video to everybody. So, I would like to sing one song right now. You are rich in love and you are slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, and worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, and worship Your holy name. You are rich in love and you are slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, and worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, and worship Your holy name. Are rich in love and you are slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great, Lord you are great. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior, old daddy Lord. This is my story, this is my soul. Praising my Savior, all that he loved, perfect summation, 
perfetti la vicenza prace novas con mai sei angels descending bring from above because of mercy with first of love this is my story this is my soul raising my savior oh daddy lord this is my story this is my soul raising my savior oh daddy lord raising my savior oh daddy lord praise the lord before i start to preach the gospel i want to pray for this city center right now the people are walking here to get more blessings and power from the holy spirit i want to pray one minute heavenly father in the name of jesus christ i pray for each one of them especially the people are walking here and the people are here in this world of god heavenly father i pray for them. give them in your glory thank you for your giving a greatest powerful revival from this place to the nations once again more i pray for all the people in jesus name amen god bless you thank you very much tomorrow i will be preaching in some other place in another area people are watching here praise the lord uh this is the time this is the day which our god has created for you to receive the salvation not only in your life but through you this indian nations our god want to give you the salvation so today the main thing for what purpose and what reason i am here that is what to preach the gospel to the nation preach the gospel that means giving the salvation to everybody in the name of jesus christ you know come on you want to pray come for your child like the pastor if you want i can pray for your child come for okay we go peace god bless you salvation is very very important word in our life the purpose of birth of jesus christ in this world not only to get the salvation to everybody but each and every people those who are believing in him should receive exercises of life in this world come on come come on then i pray for you you be at church jesus please lord i say this come on you be born again you be born again you born again right you born you said i'm i'm not born again i'm i'm blessed you are coming in the church for me uh
Heavenly Father, I pray for Brother Sean right now. I bless Brother right now, spiritually and physically. All the years right now, Father. No all the years, Brother Life. In Jesus' name, Shita Taka Lati. In Jesus' name, I declare double push of anointing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So today, I want to ask. To each one of you, the people are walking here. Jesus Christ is a living God. Last week, I had been here one day to preach the gospel to the nations. everybody today. The Spirit of God, that means the same Spirit. Raised the Jesus Christ from the death to the life. I am preaching about the same Spirit of God. That is a voice. Come 
in the Bible. He checked every miracle. It has happened in the Bible. By the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. But in the New 
Kasih Tuhan. I call the Bible. We are no more living under the bondage of Satan. We are no more living under the law of Moses. But Bible says, 100% sure, I call the Bible. Today, I want to share this powerful word of God to everybody. We are no more living under the law of Moses. We are living by the grace of God here. Come, 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 come. Everybody, please hurry. Anybody want gospel right? Possible, okay. You want to pray? You want to pray? Anybody need prayer? Any kind of sick people? Body pain? Neck pain? Back pain? Bone pain? Arthritis? HIV positive, cancer, tumor, even the death people, you can call me. I can pray for you. God will hear you. Praise the Lord. So I was talking about we were dead in sin before we come to know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. God bless you. By believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. We have been saved by faith in God. Come on, come on. So today, this is the good news. I want to share to each one of you. Salvation is a free gift. Which our God is granting to each one of those who are working here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just I'm read today. Book of Colossians. Chapter 3, verse 3. Bible says. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Lord. Another thing, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, all the satanic world, All the people, those who are doing something against to Jesus Christ. They got ashamed because the reason is Jesus Christ got our research on the third day. Today, I want to share this powerful good news to each one of you. The people are working here. Jesus Christ is a God of living God. Even today too. Can I pray for it? I can pray. pray. I'm the pastor. If anybody needs prayer, you are much better. You are losing your chance. You are losing your healing power. Praise the Lord. So today, this is the 100 percent good news. I am sharing to everybody. I am preaching here today the God of living God. This God got resurrected and seated in the right hand of the Heavenly Father. Praise the Lord. This is a good news. This is not a bad news. Maybe your family members, your brothers, your sisters, and everybody, they got died. They are no more living in this world. But you and me are saved by faith in Jesus Christ. 
Praise the Lord. Bible says, during the time when you are believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, Bible says, for you died and your life is now hidden with the Christ in God. Can I pray for we are dying in the... I'm not pushing you. Did I push you? This is my duty to call you. If you want, you can come. If not, no problem. That's all. Thank you. God bless you. I will call each one of you. Praise the Lord. If you want, you can come. If not, no problem. That's all. So today, I want to ask to each one of you. The people are working. Praise the Lord. Bible says, when the time of taking the water baptism, Bible says, our old man, our old life, it got buried under the water. Like how Jesus Christ got buried. The same way you are going you are living all your sinful life, all your own life. Through Christ Jesus. After that, you are getting a resurrection like Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ. That is what the Bible says. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ Jesus. When Christ, who is your life, appears, when you also will appear with Him in God. Another thing, I want to share to each one of you. Our God is a glorious Lord. I want to say something about what is glory. The glory means the power of the Lord. Glory means this is the presence of the Lord which our God is handing over to each one of those who are believing in Him. Today, after the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Apostle Paul, he himself came to know by the revelation of the Holy Spirit. That means the true glory is sitting in your heart. That is what the Bible says. Apostle Paul said, Christ is in you, the hope of God. Today, I want to preach to each one of you. I want to spread this powerful word of God to everybody. That is, the Christ is in you, the hope of glory, if you are a born again person in Christ Jesus. Another thing, I want to say to each one of you, the reality, what is Jesus Christ? And who is Jesus Christ? Already I myself explained who is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Savior to get a free salvation to each one of you, those who are working here. Praise the Lord. Bible says, First Job. Chapter 1. Bible says, John chapter 1, Bible says, In Jesus Christ, there is no darkness at all.
Salvador. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Praise the Lord. This is what today I want to declare to each one of you. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. In Jesus Christ there is no sin. Jesus Christ is the Holy Lord. Wherever this gospel is ready, wherever this gospel is reaching, I can say 100% according to the word of God, there is a light, there will be a light, there will be a presence of the Lord in that place. I can pray for the church. Bring your church, I can pray for you in the past. Bring your child, I can pray for you. Oh, yeah, pray. You want to pray? I can pray for a child, I'm the pastor. Come everybody. Come here. I can pray. One minute. It's a blessing. Come here, come, come up. Come with your family. Come here, come here, come here. Pray for more children, yeah? Yeah, come, come here. I can, if you want, I can pray for you the pastor. What? Come. Come, come, here. come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come everybody. Come everybody. Come everybody. And pray for the family. Don't send children, okay? You are getting blessing. All of you are getting blessing, okay? What's your name? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Jimmy. Ah, Jimmy, right now. Praise the Lord. What is your name, brother? Billy. Billy, what is your name? What is your name? Billy. Billy and Alpha and everybody, brothers and sisters, I pray for India family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the child right now, Father. Tell him a hand on him. Heavenly Father, I pray for this child right now. Bless this child, Father. Spiritually and physically, all the air is there, right, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shita, let your power move this child right now. I bless your education. All the air is of the life. In all the air is of the life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless his family, sister and brother and everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shita, the Kaladi, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Praise the Lord. Say to me. This is the day when the God is created for you to receive the salvation, not only in your life, but through you, all over the nations want to receive the salvation through you. Apostle Paul, he was prosecuted to the church of God. What was he? What was he? One day, when he came to know the power of the Lord, he was saying, I'm not at all ashamed to preach the gospel because the gospel is the salvation. Who will believe that gospel is a living God? The salvation, it will come to you. It will come to you. Each and every day. I want to say, I got the gospel. This is a day which our God has created for you to receive the salvation. Not only in your life, but through you, all over the nations. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So today, I was reading Book of Colossians, chapter 3. Bible says, for you died, and your life is now hidden with the Christ Jesus. Bible says, this is for the born again people. This is for the people are taking the water baptism. I'm preaching this gospel for everybody. Amen. One more thing I want to say to all the people. Book of Ephesians. Chapter 1, verse the 3, Bible says, We are blessed with all the spiritual blessings in Christ.
know Jesus. Spiritually and physically and financially, our God wants to bless you. Not only your life, through you, all the nations. Praise the Lord. Bible says, Yes, I want to read that one. Book of Ephesians, chapter 1. Bible says, verse 3, Who has blessed us in heavenly realm with every spiritual blessings in Christ? For he chose us in him before the creation of the world. To be holy and blameless in the sight in love. And he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ, accordance, in accordance with his pressure and will. Another thing, if you are believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, Bible says, I go to the Bible. We are already adopted as a son of the law. If you are in Christ Jesus. How it happened like that? This is a free gift from the Lord to each one of you. Those who are believing in Him. God bless you. So today, I want to say to each one of you, Book of Ephesians, chapter 1, read this four Bible says, for he chose us in him before the creation of the world. Most of the people are worried about your life. You are thinking, how it happened all these things in my life, each and every day. You are thinking in your life. But I have a good news to all the people. The people are here this word of God. Your birth, it's not at all accidentally in Christ Jesus. Your birth, you are not. God bless you. If you want, you can come and take your gospel. You want. God bless you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for hearing, Madam God. Faith is coming by hearing this, Madam God. So today, I want to say to each one of you, your birth is not at all accidentally in this world. But your birth in this world, it was a special plan and purpose of Jesus Christ. Towards you and me. In the Old Testament, all the people of Israel, they could not receive any of the salvation. They were sacrificing the animals in front of the law. But it was not at all the sufficient thing to receive, to come out from their sinful life. But in Jesus Christ, in the New Testament, in the New Testament, Jesus Christ died at the cross only for one time for you and me. That cannot over, cannot able to Anything against Jesus Christ right now. Jesus Christ could able to come out from the death to the living body. So today, I 
I'm preaching this powerful gospel to each one of you. If you are in Christ Jesus, that cannot able to write your life. In Christ Jesus, you are getting your dominion power. The power all over the darkness of the world. Power over all the wicked world. Power over all the satanic world. Sorry. What was it? I'm praying for everybody. Power for everybody, those who are in Christ Jesus. If you are in Christ Jesus, I want to say, come on, come, come on, come on. Come on. I want to say to each one of you, you are standing and walking and sitting with the dominion power of the Lord. So today, this is the reason. Bible says, you are the chosen generation. You are the royal priesthood. You are chosen in this world to preach the gospel to the unrich areas. This is the reason. Our God has called you to his, the marvelous kingdom of God. Again, the Bible says, book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 5, he predestined us for adoption to such a, we all are the children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Come on, come on. I can pray for you, child. Come on, everybody. Can I pray for child? God bless you. Can I pray for child? I'm the pastor. Thank you. If you want, I can pray for a child. I'm the pastor. You want to pray? Hi. If you want, I can pray for you. I'm the pastor. All right, sir. Ready, born again. Ready, born again. Ready, born again. Ready, born again. Yeah. Then you are the child of God. Am I right? You are the child of God. Can I pray for you? Stand there, I can pray for you. Prayer is very important. You are giving us one minute prayer. If you want, I can pray for you. Go on. What's your name? Kelly. What's your name? Brody and Dalton. Heavenly Father, I pray for Kelly. I want to pray for the two child right now. In Jesus' name. This is the second family's came for the prayer. Heavenly Father, bless his family. The spiritually and physically, all the areas of the life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. You want to say amen? Amen. That means Thank when you. you're saying amen, what all thing I said? Oh. It's a full thing. Yeah. Thank you. So today, I am preaching the gospel of blessing. Abundance blessings, each one of you, you are getting in judgment from the Lord. So today, the people are in Portsmouth City Center. Only one good news. I want to say to each one of you, you are not a normal person in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Bible says, those who are in Christ Jesus, you are the new creation. Praise the Lord. You are created newly for Christ Jesus. To spread the salvation to each one of you. God bless you. Thank you very much, brother. Praise the Lord. Bible says, He predestined us for adoption to salvation through Jesus Christ in accordance with His pressure and will. Read the 6 says, Book of Ephesians, chapter 1, read the 6. In this Bible says, to the, to the praise of His glorious grace. Praise the Lord. Come on. Hey, come on, come on. Close. I can pray for you. I'm the pastor. Come I on. know. I can pray for everybody. Thank you. Are you, are you going to do it? We are, we've got a relationship with God. Oh, thank you. Are you attending a church on Sunday? Yeah. God bless you. That's enough. More than enough. Praise the Lord. Bible says, to the praise of His glorious grace, which He has pleaded given us in the one who loves. What the sound says, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin. Some people 
say, Jesus Christ is a prophet. But I got the Bible. I want to deliver this good news to everybody. A prophet cannot forgive your sin. Only God can forgive your sin. Because of this reason, I want to declare according to the gospel, no prophet can provide the salvation, only the Savior, that is Jesus Christ. So today, all the ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus, Bible says, first John chapter 5, what this one Bible says, those who are believing, that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. You are from above. What is the meaning of above? That means the spiritual realm. What is the meaning of above? That is the heavenly realm. What is the meaning of above? That means the place where Jesus Christ is sitting. That place you can able to reach by believing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. Come on. Come, come on, come on. Take it in. God bless you. That's good. I'm preaching gospel to everybody. So today, again Bible says, in Him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of Him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of His will. Again, my brother says, what's the term? In order that we, who are the first to put our hope in Christ, might be for the praise of His glory. What the 13 Bible says, and you also were included in Christ. When you heard in the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, when you believed you, you were part in him with the seal, the promised of Holy Spirit. I so today, God bless you. God bless you. Go on. Go on. Go on. I'm gospel. If you want to take your pack, you can No, no, I like it, money. I like it only money. I don't want money, brother. I have. I don't have silver or gold. I have. The name of Jesus Christ of power. Praise the Lord. That's only I can give you. So today, Bible says, and you are also included in Christ. When you heard the message of truth, praise the Lord. The gospel of your salvation, when you believed, you were born in him, a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. Another thing, each and every people, those who are born again, those who are received, that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. You have already sealed by the promise of the Holy Spirit. What is the meaning of healing? What is the meaning of sealing? Sealed, that means it is already stamped. Nobody can take away the seal from your spiritual realm. Our God is already confirmed through Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ that you are with God. You are in God. Because of this reason, the people are working. The people are working here. This is what...
I pray for the Roy right now, Heavenly Father. This is a fourth person, child, king for the prayer. Heavenly Father, bless his brother right now. I pray for this brother to get a good health, healthy body, and everything in brother's life. In Jesus' name, Shittatakaladi, Dagra, in Jesus' name, spiritually and physically, in the old years of brother's life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Very born again. Thank you. Very born again. So today, I want to ask to each one of you, in Christ Jesus, each and every people, we are living in the heavenly realm, not in the world life, but the heavenly life, even if we are walking on earth, we are seated in the heaven. This is what today, I want to say to each one of you, we are planted or rooted in Christ Jesus. If you are rooted in Christ Jesus by faith in God, then what is going to happen in your life? Bible says, if you are planted or rooted in Christ Jesus, Bible says, you are the new creation. The wicked one cannot touch your body. If you are in Christ Jesus, there is no condemnation those who are in Christ Jesus. So, all the ladies and gentlemen, this is a wonderful time, powerful time, anointed time, which our God has created for you before the foundation of the world to hear this good news wherever you are. So today, I want to say to each one of you, the people, those who are not born again, you must one day you have to come and stand in front of the church and see. I got the gospel. This is what today I want to share this good news to everybody. Our God is a God of merciful God. Loving kindness is a nature of our Lord. Healing is a nature of our Lord. Deliverance is a nature of our Lord. So today, the people are living under the depressions, negations, isolations, or rejections. Maybe lots and lots of things are happening. The surrounding place of you today. But only one thing I want to ask, I want to encourage to each one of you. I want to say to each one of you, the hell, you are a more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. If you are in Christ Jesus, the wicked one cannot touch your body. Who is the wicked one? What was he? The Satan bolt. Who is the wicked one? All the things which are coming against your life. All the situations which you are facing in your life. This situation cannot destroy your life. Maybe you are the homeless person here today. Maybe you don't have money. Maybe you don't have anything in your life. In the Bible, Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, there is all in one in Jesus Christ. I want to share this powerful word of God to everybody. In Jesus Christ, there is a solution of all in one in Christ Jesus. Whatever you need, Whatever you want, externally and abundantly, our God can be able to supply to you. In the Bible, there is a person in the Old Testament. His name was John. He lost everything in his life. But the Spirit of God was with him always. He was a healthy man. He was a wealthy man. He was lots of children. And all these things. Lots of servants. Lots of flocks. Lots of camels. Doggies. And he was a richest of us. One day, he lost everything. He got lost everything. 
Even if he lost everything, he was having only one thing in his life. He was trusting our God. He was believing this powerful God. He was saying to everybody, what I had lost right now, I'm not at all worrying any of these world things. Because everything, what I had possessed from this world, that is through the Lord. Our God is given, our God is taken. When we are reading book of Job, chapter 42, what are the things he had lost? Our God is returned to Job. Double portion. Double portion of blessings. Double portion of his wealth. Children. Good family. And everything. He could be able to receive from the Lord. Under the nature of our Lord. Our God can restore your life. Restoration is a nature of our Lord. So good evening. The people are in Porto City Center. This is a good news. Our God wants to get you a precious lift right now in the year of 2020, right now, in 2024. Are you ready to receive? If you hope, you are getting this free gift, the gift of salvation. Come, 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 come. come on. Take it, take Gift of service. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Gift of eternal life. Gift of dominion and power over all the wicked one. Gift of dominion and power over all the satanic world. If you are in Christ Jesus, can I prefer? Can I prefer? Thank you, brother. If you are in Christ Jesus, you are the victorious person in Christ Jesus in the year of 2022. Come, come on. So today, all the people are walking here. This is a good news. Jesus Christ is a merciful God. Jesus Christ is a merciful God. Loving kindness. Is a nature of our Lord. In the Bible, I can show you lots of examples of the loving kindness of Jesus Christ. Lots and lots of examples. In the Bible, there is a person, 38 years he was having in poverty, Gospel John chapter 6. But he was waiting to receive the touch from the Lord in his life. One day, Jesus Christ has seen his situation. Jesus Christ went to him and asked to him, what I want to do for you. That person was saying, nobody is helping. Nobody was helping. I am the helpless person. The same time, same moment, Jesus Christ has healed that person. Take your rice up and walk. Take your boat and walk. So today, I want to preach to everybody. This God is seeing your situation today. Your circumstances today. Whatever you have facing the situation in your life, our God is looking at on you today. Only one thing, our God is asking, if you are willing, I am ready to help you. The people are in Boston City Center. Before I finish the session, I want to ask to each one of you, our God is ready to help you today, wherever you are walking. I want to encourage to all the people. Receive the power in your body and enjoy the rest of your life in this world. 
I want to pray for the city right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of you. Especially the people are watching online. The people are hearing this word of God. Heavenly Father, lots of people could be able to hear this powerful word of God from the citizen. I bless them, Father. Some people came for the prayer. I bless them, Father. Thank you for their touching their body and mind and heart. You are raising up a greatest revivalist from the city to the nations. Once again more, I pray for each one of them. In Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Okay. God bless you, everybody. Okay, thank you very much. I'm, I myself really enjoyed Okay, preaching the gospel. God bless you.